Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Octane Research webinar. We are going live. Uh, today's webinar's title is Digital by Default. And in the next 40 minutes, we'll walk you through some of the research highlights of our recent industry study in India, which was around how marketeers have used online marketing in India in 2016 and what are their plans for 2017. Given this is January, I wish you all a very happy new year, happy new 2017. And I hope that some of the insights you will see from the research study uh, that we'll be sharing with you will be useful in your uh, in your uh, marketing campaigns and plans for, for this year. Um, from a logistics perspective on this webinar, um, I will ask you a couple of poll questions and uh, request your participation. Also, if you can hear me clearly or if the audio is not very clear or if you like to pop a question, you can use the chat option which is in the GoToWebinar console. If you click on the chat button and just pop your question, then we'd be happy to take your questions at the end of the presentation just to not disrupt the flow and make sure that we add value to everyone. And a copy of this will be available later on as a video archive so you can share this with your friends or colleagues who could not attend this uh, this webinar. Uh, 3 p.m. on 11th of January, we're going live. Uh, and it depends on which part of the world you will be accessing this later or will you will be viewing this later. So, you know, wish you a very happy day wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And let's continue with our deliberations today. Uh, so again, a warm welcome to today's webinar series. This is a series of webinars we do once in a month to talk about digital marketing, more specifically digital one-to-one -one marketing and bring to you best practices, new concepts, uh, ideas to share learning and insights as they emerge from the front lines of digital marketing in India. That's my picture. Yes, it's an old one. I have shorter hair now. Um, that's my name, Puneet Motkin. I'm one of the co-founders of Octane.in. And uh, this is the seventh annual State of Online Marketing in India research project that we did recently. So since 2011, we have been focusing on finding out more and more about how marketers in India are using online and digital um, platforms for consumer engagement. And this culminates in a research report which we launched end of December, beginning of January. So this is the seventh such annual and every year we name it differently, though the context of it and the content of it remains the same which is it's a state of online marketing in India research um, but we try to give it a catchy name and a slogan every year so this is digital by default we believe in 2014 digital happened in India 2015 it picked up momentum 2016 we saw a lot of acceleration and a massive movement of major campaigns towards uh, digital only and we believe now in 2017 digital by default is the only option, digital is the default option. You're not thinking about analog world or offline world or offline marketing and thinking of digital as the bolt-on option. Now all campaigns, all marketing in India is starting with digital as the base and then we're building on non-digital aspects of it as well. That's my email ID if you have follow-up questions. Uh, the webinar will of course formally end in next 40 minutes but your questions should not. You can pop questions to us either on my email ID or you can uh, tweet me and let me know while we are on the webinar right now or later if you found this uh, webinar insightful or if you have any follow-up questions. Hashtag also is email 2017 that you can use to talk about this research report. I've, I've not heard any chat uh, things from you so I'm assuming that you all can hear my audio well. So let me continue with this and uh, take you through some of the deliberations. So you may wonder what is Octane and what does Octane do? So I'll take a couple of minutes to walk you through what we stand for and then uh, de deep dive into the research report specifics, which is the one that you're looking for. So there are three components of the webinar today in terms of agenda. One is a brief overview of what we do and what we stand for and why should you listen to us on this webinar or later on. Uh, what's, our, uh, what's our poll position? Uh, second part of the webinar is about the research findings that we found, uh, the highlights of it actually. It's a, 30 page plus report so I'll not bore you to details with all of them you can download a copy but I'll walk you through some of the highlights we saw and how they are changing year on year and the last part is I like to leave you with some five key takeaways or five key trends in digital marketing 
that I would find, uh, I would request you to have a look at it closely as you design or look up campaigns either in your respective teams or if you yourself as a marketeer, digital marketeer are running those campaigns. So first part which is about opt-in, we started in 2007 and we started the permission marketing campaigns in India. We, we started the no spam flag in India. We said consumers should be reached out on email only if they have given you specific permission. So that was our disruption with that we started with in 2007, which was that we led the no spam movement in India. Even today we stand only for permission based marketing campaigns. We don't believe in spamming. We don't believe in buying lists or renting lists or uh, copying lists. We believe list based email marketing is long time over. It's passe. It's now about database driven marketing and only to people who have opted in to receive your communication or to stay in touch with you. Uh, if you look at 2016, in addition to being no spam, it's also about digital one-to-one -one marketing now. As marketeers, as students, as uh, executives in uh, large organizations at high positions, we have known about the efficacy of one-to-one -one marketing, direct marketing, database-driven marketing. And the idea is how can we use that construct on digital, so that becomes digital to one-to-one -to -one marketing. And in that context, the contextual uh, part becomes very important. So in 2016, we started on a new journey as a marketing automation platform from India, which deals heavily into email and SMS. We started working into the contextual part of campaigns, no batch and blast mode anymore. So that's the digital one-to-one. -one. We're seeing a lot of disruption here where consumers want to be reached out in terms of a context and not just uh, you know, batch and blast mode offers led campaigns. Some more on that later. So let's continue from here. This is a slightly more heavy slide, but if you look at it, we are a marketing automation platform from India, opt-in permission based, only email campaigns. We do email plus SMS in a very interactive format. We are uh, we support digital one-to-one -one multi-channel story. So we may be transactional alerts, promotional campaigns, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, one part of a business is the opt-in research team, which tracks, monitors, talks to people, in his conversation, is engaged in marketing community. And that's the research part, which is the opt-in research part of a business. Um, across India, we reach out to 200 plus brands. We target and serve over 250 million unique inboxes, consumer inboxes. We send up to a billion emails per month, mostly promotional. Uh, so net net, we are driving about 400 rupees crores worth of business per month through our campaigns on the platform. And that's on the conservative side based on what I hear from our customers. Uh, we have best in class product engineering from India. So that also means that we can do fast prototyping and fast development cycle. We can add new features every six weeks and uh, point releases can be even uh, quicker than that. So that's how we have uh, structured ourselves a bit about who we are. We can deploy our solution in both uh, on-site, which is the private cloud offering, or purely online, which is the public cloud offering. And 100% do it yourself. We believe as a marketeer, the value of digital one-to-one -one marketing or marketing automation platforms like Octane are best realized when marketeers use these tools themselves and realize the value of real-time uh, uh, marketing. Our focus is uh, three broad areas from a marketing domain perspective. One is retention, second is insights, and third is acquisition. On the retention part, we have the platform which we were briefly discussing for the last few minutes, through which you can send integrated SMS and email campaigns both for promotional alerts or transactional alerts. Um, and also, we can do a lot of dynamic content. I don't know if you know or not, but in 2016, 2015, a lot of the email content you send out uh, can be automated, can be changed, can be personalized based on the user behavior. So time-based trigger, location-based triggers, etc. So the static content of the mailer can be dynamically changed based on user behavior and the mobile or the device uh, um, parameters. So that's the part which is the more agile part of a business. So we have platform through which you can do those campaigns. Uh, I discussed with you that deployment is easy for us. You can deploy on the cloud or private cloud, which is on premise. We serve enterprise segments through our Octane.in platform and we serve the SMB class, the growing businesses, the upcoming business of India with OctaneGo.com part of our business. Uh, research, the Octane research is our services uh, side of a business and that tracks what's happening in e-marketing in India, what's happening in digital spends in India, how is email happening in India, how is SMS consumption happening in India. We do monthly webinars like these. You can find a whole lot of these archived on our YouTube channel or on our website, octane.in. 
through which we reach out to marketers like you and we share with you what you as a community are sharing back with us. We do quarterly user group meetings. These are special interest group meetings for uh, email and SMS and they happen in Mumbai, Delhi and Bangalore. Drop us an email and we'll try to see if we can invite you as a special invitee for one of those sessions. We also do paid uh, consulting assignments, uh, high-end uh, services around email audits, CRM programs, etc. Et uh, acquisition is an important part when you look at online marketing in India because the user base is growing phenomenally. Uh, last check, it was 350 million online users in India out of a population size of 1.25 billion. We are adding about 5 to 6 million new internet users every month. So many of the marketers in there will come to us and tell us, look, I only have 2 million, 5 million subscriber base. How do I add newer subscribers or how do I go to earn served online subscribers, which is what audience marketing is all about. And that's where through our reach right offering, you can uh, do partner promotions through joint marketing campaigns, promotion campaigns with other publishers, other brands who have their own opt-in databases. So that's the part of a business through which a lot of our customers have seen their subscriber base grow or drive short-term revenue upside through such campaigns. Uh, which can be so we have upwards of 70 plus publishers who have their own opt-in databases We can get you access to about 110 120 million new users in India online users in India and many of them are profiled on behavioral data and also transactional data uh, That's the acquisition part that that's where we can help so if you are a FMCG marketeer looking to grow your share of voice digitally we can help you with your audience campaigns and if you are a pure play digital marketeer who's looking at performance we can give you some elements of performance as well so this is where we combine audience marketing and performance marketing combined together and we can help you with your acquisition goals that was the opt-in part of our story why we matter and why we are uh, why we are recognized by many brands in india why we work with some of the top brands in india for the digital marketing campaigns Coming to this question about ROI, now this is not coming from a research study, formal research study that I'll be sharing more insights with you, but this is my question which I've asked as part of my workshops over the last 18 months. Over the last 18 months, I would have addressed more than 600 marketeers across 25 workshops across India, across categories, FMCG, insurance, in Bombay, in Bangalore. And this is what my question usually is, that when you're going digital, how do you measure your impact of digital spend and typically in the offline marketing world we had the Romeo objectives which were not purely revenue but we could have partner readiness, customer relationship, community serve, all that good stuff. Uh, my submission to you is when you go online and when you go digital everything you do on digital has to have a revenue measure and it can be tracked very well. The click attribution is very easy on digital comparatively. Uh, so it's only a question of short-term revenue impact mid-term revenue impact and long-term revenue impact. And if you ask this question to marketers in India, I don't know if you, res if you, if the results on the screen resonate with you that if you pay Google for search campaigns, paid search campaigns on Google versus sponsored content stories on Facebook versus partner promotion emails through our network like ReachRight or do your own campaigns to subscribers who have signed up to receive your updates, what is the revenue impact? Now this may vary from industry to industry but directionally, the split between Google paid campaigns versus Facebook stories versus partner promotion emails versus retention emails, if you see a semblance of directionally this data aligning with you, then clearly you know that some of the campaigns on uh, platforms like email SMS are still proving to be very high ROI compared to some of the emerging social media platforms or paid search, which is what we see as plateauing now in India from a paid search content perspective, paid search results perspective. So that's a disruption we see in addition to the digital one-to-one -one disruption that I talked about earlier in the slide. Some of the popular questions which are relevant when you look at this particular uh, webinar, uh, many of the marketers ask us, hey, how are other marketers in my category uh, doing online marketing? What are the, some of the strategies they have adopted? Where are they investing more money? Uh, what are the open rates they, they see? What are the click-through rates they see? What is the revenue impact they drive through email or SMS? So these are some of the questions we get from marketeers across the year. So this is the 2017 January webinar and the idea is to give you a head start uh, on your uh, learning and how marketers are spending or planning to spend or planning to invest in 2017 in the context of 2016 and how campaigns worked for many online marketers in India. 
at this point in time i would like to ask you a question to give me a better sense of the audience online right now and this is uh, you know you got to let me know who you are i know a lot of us were uh, direct uh, marketers direct digital marketers when they have come online but uh, i'd like to just ask you a question about this uh, let me just throw this to you and if you can respond um, and give me your perspective um, either you are chief marketing officer on the poll here are you a cxo level person non marketer but you know senior officer are you a marketing manager are you a student uh, we've got 27% votes already in currently the poll is heavily skewed towards uh, marketing manager profile uh, with 40% responses going towards uh, almost 30% responses going towards digital marketing head let me give it a couple of more seconds so this gives me a good sort of a somewhat a good understanding of the audience on the webinar right now i know this i will not have this luxury of uh, looking at this if i was to share this in the video archive on youtube but right now i can go through this and i can maneuver some of my content or some of my points with the, with the audience in mind uh, so it seems to have plateaued at uh, a majority of them coming from the marketing manager profile and the next is digital marketing head and a few cxos and i do see some single digit percentage chief marketing officer as well let me close this poll and let me go back thank you very much for telling me about that part i think i was going ahead without so let's focus now on the main component of webinar today which is to discuss the annual state of online marketing just to walk you through what it stands for we had 450 marketers from india who shared their uh, opinion it was a very exhaustive uh, survey questionnaire and this was done mostly online but also few on phone and a few also in person and we had the pleasure of uh, hosting 400 plus brands who shared their opinion or ideas on what worked for them in the last there were 30 odd questions in detail fairly exhaustive and i'll not be going through all of them and we also had the collaboration with these industry associations so these are not this is not just an opt in out research outreach to digital marketers in india this is six of us coming together industry associations like imi dmai asia rai cmai and digital define which is an online community of marketing digital professionals marketing professionals in india and of course opt in research so this was a combined effort across all of these bodies to reach out to relevant digital marketers in india and thank you each one of you some of you who shared your perspectives in this research report if you're online um please accept our sincere thanks for your participation in this research study this is till date the only one of its kind research outreach which happens annually in india there are many research projects in india which track the online consumer and how users are consuming digital content or marketing but from a marketer's perspective this is the first one and i believe only one of its kind and yesterday we got also got this uh, research covered by emarketer.com that's uh, that's world's largest and most followed uh, consulting services brand for digital marketing so let's move on and uh, what did we hear from marketers when they shared their insights with us and their plans for 2017 so let's go through some of this in detail we asked this question about you know what's your primary marketing goal and we gave four options to marketers and if you look at this data here you can see trending over last seven six seven such uh, programs so 2011 onwards we've been asking the same question so you see trending and clearly customer acquisition still continues to be a number one goal though brand awareness keeps on shuffling between you know percentages which vary from 30% 22% and down now to 17% but uh, two marks two parts two two data points here which are worth noticing retention is back in focus as the second highest and customer acquisition remains the main focus of marketing goal uh, primary marketing goal for marketers in in this year when you look at the primary online marketing activity interesting data points emerge that now uh, if you look at social media marketing email marketing and search marketing these are the top 3 channels for online marketing activity as the primary man, online marketing activity for 2017 for marketers so again if you look at social media email and search these are the top 3 channels for online marketing in india how do you drive maximum customer engagement in india for consumers and this is the question we asked uh, 450 plus marketers 
And this is what we received from them, that social media updates and email campaigns lead the charge. And it's a close one between social media updates and email campaigns. And you can clearly see that in this year, there's a momentum that you, or even last year, you saw momentum with social media updates. But clearly, if you, even if you look at this data, and interestingly, even SMS campaigns have picked up from 8% to 14%. So this has been the highest SMS campaigns for maximum customer engagement ever since we started the, the research project in 2011. Interesting insight there. So if you combine email plus SMS, that's 32% plus 14%, that's almost as good, if not better, in fact, better than social media update. But on a channel perspective, social media has seen an increase in momentum. 46% uh, last year compared to 34% year before. And this year again stays in, in high 40%. If you look at email, still is in the higher uh, bracket, the second largest engagement channel. And that's where we are. So interesting data point, SMS, email, social media updates for maximum customer engagement. Top one being social media. And the second one is email campaigns. Let's move ahead a bit. We asked this question about, uh, you know, Email marketing, when you send email campaigns, uh, how many of your email campaigns will be opened up on mobile devices? And that's the interesting part where, you know, people used to say, well, 51% to 75% of them have said uh, it will be 36%. No, actually, it's the way around. So 22% marketers have said it'll be less than 25%. 32% marketers have said it'll be between 26 to 50%. And 51, 36% uh, marketers have said it'll be 51 to 75%. And 10% marketers have said this will be more than 75%. So if you now combine the 51% to 75% and more than 75%, we are adding that, that is 36 plus 10. So 46% of marketers, almost half the marketers, believe that their emails that they send out to consumers will be opened on mobile devices. It's a very sectoral thing because we do have a lot of our marketers doing business to business campaigns which are run during daytime and many of them are open on desktop platforms or laptops. But if you go by specific on e-commerce, for example, a big chunk of this is already happening at more than 75%. So when we talk to e-commerce companies in India, for example, um, more than 70, 80% of their email campaigns are opened up on mobile devices. It does have interesting inference for the marketers, which I'll summarize in one of the key trends I'll share with you when I summit, when I end this uh, webinar. Uh, moving forward, plans to increase marketing budget in 2017. So this is where we ask some of the questions saying, will you be increasing less than 10%? Will you be increasing 11% to 30%? Or will you be increasing 31 to 50%? So if you look at the largest number, it's uh, less than 10%, which means 39% uh, of marketers have said they'll invest less than 10% in online marketing uh, more than last year. But if you reduce the 12% and if you add up the other ones, 1%, 3%, 14% uh, and 31%, you start seeing that a lot of marketers, the majority of the marketers, which is almost 45% plus 3, 48, 49% marketers in India will be investing more than 11% to almost more than 75% of their, uh, they'll be increasing marketing budgets for online by that percentage point. So clearly a lot of India marketers will be investing more than 10% in their marketing budgets, increasing their marketing budgets in 2017. That's interesting data point for us to know. And then we asked this follow up question, the saying, okay, if you plan to invest more, where do you see yourself investing in uh, which channel online do you plan to invest more in 2017? And this is again where interesting data points emerge that if you look at the top three, it's social media, search, website, and email marketing. So these are top four channels if you look at uh, uh, the, the data points. Uh, we see a huge chunk of uh, effort going into website development. And we believe that a lot of the responsive design projects have continued from last year to this year. Actually, they started a year before. But we're seeing a lot of interest in website development, mobile web being a, a key component. But interestingly note that social search and email continue to be the channels where from an ongoing perspective, you see a lot more investments going in. Uh, some investments are also going into SMS uh, mobile marketing. And interestingly, uh, we are not seeing a huge investment as per this um, in, um, you know, in the 
not much growth in terms of SMS marketing. Video sees a flip up again. We saw a cyclical pattern. We saw 30% was the highest we reached in terms of marketing investments, uh, each e marketing investments. But this year, 34% or around about that percentage may go. Uh, so this is where this is not a summation of all adding up to 100, but this is a question where more than one you can choose more than one channel where you'll be increasing email marketing channel investment. So 68% marketers have said they'll be investing heavily in social media marketing and 57% have said in search, 57% website development and a good high 46% in email marketing. So clearly these are emerging to be top channels, continue to be having momentum and some newer ones emerge like video marketing for example which receives newer input this year. Moving on, when we ask specific questions about email marketing, now I'm going back to a different research report which we run which is around email marketing but I thought I'll summarize a couple of key points there as well. Uh, we asked this question about which is your best day for engagement in terms of open and clicks and it seems like Tuesday to Friday still continues to be uh, most sought after from an engagement perspective and when we ask this question which hour then we get to know that from 10 to 2 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 10 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon seems to be the highest engagement rate from an open and click perspective. When you superimpose that's this with platform data, which device or which um, hardware is it open on your emails, then interesting data points emerge. Windows in this case is the Windows desktop and laptops and the Android, iPhone, iPad are the uh, mobile platforms and you can interestingly see that more consumption happens on email on Android platforms in the morning and then it goes towards back towards the desktop platforms. Uh, so this is it's a bit of insights here. A lot of this data, by the way, should be available if you're doing email campaigns on marketing automation tools like Octane, and this is available to you in real time. I don't know if you concur with this as we roll this up across billions of emails in India, but this is an interesting data point to have, which is still a lot of email works well when you send it between 10 to 2 in the afternoon and mostly on the Android devices. We asked this question year on year about measures to decrease spam and inbox clutter. I don't think I have the correct data on this one for 2017, but increasing personalization and retargeting or targeting based on the profile continues to be an important part. So a lot of questions get asked around email marketing in terms of how do I land my uh, emails in the inbox of Gmail? How do I conquer that battle? I don't should not land up in the spam folder or in the promotions tab. And the first one here, which is increasing personalization based on how much you know about the client or the consumer in this case, or the user or the subscriber, and based on the context of the user journey, you go out and send those campaigns out. That continues to be number one. We have an interesting project that we ran across all the unsubscribes we could track in India, 28 million of them, and we asked them this question that why would you unsubscribe from the list that you are subscribed to? And I want to highlight one area which is an area of interest to me as a marketeer, but also would like to share this with you as a best practice perhaps, that 15% uh, of them have said, I do not remember signing up for uh, this list. So while they may have given you a specific permission, maybe a few quarters, few months, few weeks, even few years back, it's good to re-emphasize that in your uh, regular communication, even if it's a transactional campaign, a transactional alert or a promotional campaign, highlight that you're receiving this communication because you had signed up or you had placed an order or something of that nature. So in that case, you know, the stickiness of the subscriber re remains. And uh, again, you can download a detailed analysis of the unsubscribes on our octaneresearch.in page and you can download these reports uh, and you'll find something interesting when you go to the web portal octaneresearch.in. We don't ask you to sign up first as a roadblock web form to download the report. You can just go there and download the PDF but if you like what you see, you can sign up with your email ID and we'll be happy to send you updates on the newer reports and research alerts from time to time. Now, I have shared with you in a little bit of detail about the insights we received from the 2017 marketing forecast from the annual research report and a few more other research reports we ran across last year. Uh, I would request you to go to optinresearch.in and download your own detailed copy and uh, there's about 40 pages plus of analysis that you'll find useful as you plan your campaigns for marketing online for 2017. A few, five of the sort of trends, best practices I would like to share with you as a summation of uh, my webinar today and also 
based on what we've been hearing across the years with 100 um, no, 100 odd events etc meetings webinars etc but about 1500 plus marketers in that that we reach out to almost every year so these are five broad trends mobile first will continue to grow so if you are 50 percent of your emails social media uh, video platform consumption on mobile please expect it to almost reach towards 100 percent so we are seeing a lot more momentum towards mobile desktop is not going down number of hours have increased which people are spending online so you'll see that interesting trends in india also mobile is going and desktop is not reducing so what's giving in a lot of social hours in india are being consumed towards online viewing a lot of television time is going towards video watching online but in this case mobile will continue to grow so if you're still designing campaigns which are desktop heavy if you're still doing the things which are 10 20 7 64 then perhaps you need to relook at it and do everything first from mobile first approach so if you're designing videos for example for online do square format video because that's what is native to a mobile phone experience of course people can flip and see the video in a 169 format 16 dash uh, 16 to 9 format but the square format is more intuitive etc etc so all the emails you send out should be email uh, should be responsive design so these are some of the aspects which should be more focused towards mobile first in 2017 and not desktop first and optimizing for mobile data moving on i still feel that customer acquisition will continue to be a, a focus area for marketers and as we've seen search and email continue to be the top two channels for marketers in even in 2017 so we still see that paid search campaigns email campaigns either on your own database or uh, partner uh, databases through reach right will continue to be a focus area so this is another trend to watch out for 2017 consumer engagement interestingly social media and email uh, are voted as top two channels as we were discussing earlier also and we believe that continued momentum from 2016 will also happen in 2017 uh, interestingly in both these customer acquisition or consumer engagement email is the common uh, lowest denominator you will have social media and email for engagement and you'll have search paid search and email for uh, customer acquisition interesting in india even right now social social media has increased but the customer conversion from social media is not as high as search or as email uh, many of marketers that I speak to have said, look, my email campaigns aren't driving the responses they used to uh, do earlier from a uh, open rate, click through rate, shopping cart conversion rate, and also from an order conversion rate. And so what we are seeing now is that for the same number of emails you send, you'll have to do a lot more campaigns. So earlier, for example, 2015, 2016 or earlier, we used to have one mailer sent to two million subscribers. Those kind of campaigns will not give you results the way you would expect them to be. Uh, so we had money to burn, we had discounting driven offers, and so we had a lot of different type of campaigns which may not give you the results in 2017. So now all the digital one-to-one -one outreach, maybe mobile uh, browser alert, the app alert, the email alert, or SMS alert, has to be contextual. It has to be in the context of a marketing automation CRM program and that will align better with the customer life cycle and, and journey and in that case you will start getting a lot more conversion. So I am we are seeing for example that for same number of sends, uh, emails sent, a lot more campaigns are being built. So if you are sending 2 million emails and you had say a couple of mailer designs, now we are seeing upwards of 100 plus variations of the same mailer to target 2 million uh, subscribers. So it's, it's changing heavily and you need to profile your consumers and on that profiling and on a continued basis, um, trigger out email campaigns, cascade email campaigns, um, waterfall email campaigns from that perspective towards uh, consumers and that will work better. That's the fourth out of the fifth. And the fifth one, which is not the last in terms of least importance, but I feel that still a lot of spend we're doing online in India. We are putting different metrics for different channels, which is good at the operational level. But from our digital marketing head level, or if you're a senior marketer's um, responsibility, you should look at all channels and the clicks through all of these channels as uh, driving the same metrics, which is revenue. And in that, in that context, 
which channel drives higher number of leads and what is the higher conversion value so one is how many units of orders and other is per order what is the higher value i think that these two measures is where a lot of marketers have moved with advanced technology tools with sophistication in the workflows in how they define active inactive etc etc and i see that this will continue to be a big area of focus as more companies will invest more money in digital campaigns in 2017 marketers will be under more stress to define roi so you can't get over by saying look i have a content campaign doing engagement and facebook likes or open on of my video on youtube is good enough i think we will have to see a lot more of that convert towards traffic to your website and on the website the traffic has to convert towards revenue short term long term or even mid term but clearly there needs to be a different level of roaming thinking not just the conventional roaming thinking that we have uh, been used to for uh, non digital media so these are my five trends highlights submission to you as uh, things to watch out for for 2017 and let me see if i've got a few questions we are still to go but 10 minutes to go for uh, the the webinar and uh, let me see if you got some questions here you can pop the question in the chat window and i'll be happy to respond to your questions online here okay i have a question which is about uh how does this partner promotion work uh one on one side you're saying it's you don't believe in spamming and on the other side you're saying you can use some other databases well the way it works is that's a good question i should have clarified this earlier the the brand you work with uh, they they become publishers in turn and they have their own subscribers so for example if you take brand a and brand b brand a has 2 million subscribers and brand b has say 100000 subscribers so brand b can go to brand a and say look i have something of value to your subscribers would you like to carry my promotional campaign my unique promo code for your subscribers so the brand a agrees to become a publisher for brand b's can content campaign so in this case the brand a does not give the 2 million subscribers to brand b which is about 100000 but carries the promotional content on to their database so that's how it's a win win for all three the subscribers get something of value and the brand a with their own uh, subscribers are able to monetize some of the database and brand b gets outreach to a brand new campaign brand new uh, segment which was not served earlier uh, i hope that answered your question on 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 that part I have another question coming up which is what is the what is the rise of video content uh, any insights into that well we did discuss briefly that video content is where a lot more investments will go for 2017 uh, one video one content type if you look at pictures versus text versus video because of the mobile uh, penetration and mobile adoption and mobile consumption going up video has been the chart burster Uh, if you look at last 12 months in india and with the rise of networks like uh, reliance gio reliance geo for example and with the data rates coming down in terms of uh, you know per megabyte per gb and data speeds becoming better and smartphones becoming more and more popular you can buy now smartphones starting 1500 to 2000 rupees uh, this is the one category of content uh, video content is the one category i would really request you to stay more and more focused on because this this lends very beautifully to the mobile platform and people can consume this at their own will at their own time and uh, so i'm seeing this this being an area where a lot of traffic will this year move from television to smaller screens uh, or maybe even supplement the television screen but uh, this screen from a video perspective video content perspective so from a content perspective if you're a marketer in 2017 i would really request you to look at your content line item for content creation and invest some more money towards video content perhaps giving priority over other content types um i think there's another question which is about 
where can I download the copy of uh, this research study? Well, we did give you a link earlier. Let me again share this with you. You can download the PDFs of the some of the research reports, especially the one which is digital by default, which is the summary of uh, findings from 450 plus marketeers, 400 plus brands. You can download a copy of that without any registration or pesky forms or roadblock CRM forms on obtainresearch.in and that's where you can download this uh, on your own and uh, this will be visible to you. There's a question here which says, uh, are you saying email marketing costs less than social media marketing if done with same frequency attempts? Uh, so, you know, the two platforms are different. It's a great question. So the two platforms are different. Social media at one level, level is free for you to put out content. So if you want to publish content, there's almost no cost. Right? It's free for you to use as a brand. But as you may have seen, the algorithms are punishing content which are organic from pages or brand pages and promoting content which are paid for on Facebook. So Facebook has moved aggressively towards paid content stories getting higher priority in their algorithm. And the organic content story is getting more and more sort of less weightage or less priority. With that in being in mind, the cost of pushing out content on Facebook through paid stories will continue to rise and the cost of free stories on Facebook will continue to be less effective. So the cost will remain the same, which is zero, but they'll be less effective in terms of reach. So in, 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 in a sense, you'll have to spend more money in reaching out to people with your own content stories on Facebook and you when you publish and when you put out content there. If you compare the, the, the with email, email works differently, right? Email, the list is yours. You don't have to pay for segments or audiences unless you go through partner promotions through reach, right? Your own subscribers are your own intellectual property in a way, the trust they have in with you. So that doesn't cost a lot of money, but yes, some of the tools do cost money. So when you use platform like Octane Go, MailChimp or Octane.in, you will have to pay per email cost. That doesn't vary too much. It's a flat CPM cost per million emails rate that you pay. Uh, but that way it's fairly effective. So on two counts, email marketing right now in India works better uh, than Facebook. One is of course the per impression or per email sent out versus per impression. Uh, it's cheaper. It's uh, two pesa, three pesa, per four pesa email campaigns in India now. Um, and then the impressions on Facebook are more expensive. The second part, of course, is uh, the conversion. So what we see from email marketing, of course, from a when you when you when, when you calculate ROI, there are two elements: what is the results you 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 got, and what are the cost of uh, doing that effort. And on both the accounts, results you drive, and also from the cost of making that effort email scores over social media. In fact, if you go through the research findings I shared with you, maybe you can play this on a video, uh, um, uh, you can watch this video again, I played this uh, and you can re rewind it and view watch it. Uh, email and social are the two leading channels for customer engagement. And when you look at uh, the other one, which is acquisition, uh, uh, email and search deliver the maximum results. I'm not, I'm having a little bit issue with the questions I've received here. Uh, so let me see if I can make this work. Should brands consider new technologies like augmented reality for reaching out to premium consumers? How about integrated campaigns? Let me see if I can scroll down. Including offline, should they be looked at? Uh, you know, IR is a reality and you will have new adopters. If you're, if you look at markets like India, for example, which is mobile first, youngsters first, uh, you know, age group of 25 to 35 is where maximum conversions are happening in terms of online purchase. I would I would not rule out any new technology. I would go and put 20%, 30% of my marketing investment uh, into a project like you know, augmented reality, etc. because those are uh, newer engagement tools and technologies uh, that are available to marketers in India. But the key word there that you use in the question, integrated marketing is the best approach. So during my deliberation also, I've always said this, that multi-channel is the best approach and augmented reality becomes an important part of that outreach for you. So if you're a marketer in India and if you have retail brands to support, I would definitely look at, or if you're an FMCG company in India, 
experiential marketing is the way you sell to consumers, then augmented reality is the best way, especially for a lot of offline retailers when they have stores in very busy uh, shopping malls and locations, I would not look at the offer driven footfall traffic to convert more and more, but augmented reality to give a experiential sort of a, a, a outcome for a consumer would be one way. So I would say absolutely augmented reality is one of the multi, one of the multiple, one of the channels of the multi-channel approach and being new, it does have a novelty value. It does have some teething issues, but it's uh, matured a lot in the last 12 months. So in 2017, I would definitely say augmented reality should be on your radar screen as a marketeer. And uh, this should also do the augmentation and supplement the integrated campaign for you, uh, supplementing the online and digital effort. So I would agree on that part. All right, I think I have answered most of your questions and uh, please continue to ask us your questions even after the webinar is over. We'll have the next webinar next month. Uh, stay tuned for that part. But in the meantime, you can go and look up our YouTube channel. You can also go to optinresearch.in, download copies of the research reports I talked about. You have the hashtag here, uh, optinin is the hashtag. And uh, you have my Twitter handle and you have my email ID. I look forward to your questions. Uh, feel free to ask me questions about the research report that we talked about, the research study. And again, I would like to thank many of the marketeers who made this a reality for us in 2017. Seventh year in a row was very special. And we continue to, we plan to continue this uh, interaction across the year. We have upcoming research reports. For example, the current one we're working where we have mapped out to mobile users and what kind of campaigns they would like to see or how would they like to connect with brands or how often they check emails and, and when they check emails. We have a brand new research coming up in the next 20 days from now. Apart from that, within this month, we'll have the BFSI. How is BFSI marketers? How are the financial services marketers in India using online marketing to connect to consumers? What works for them? What doesn't work for them in their discovery of new products and services? You know, a lot of financial services are sold through channels and not 100% online. So how does online marketing play a part in that? customer journey. So a lot of interesting stuff coming up. We should have shortly the state of um, email marketing in India report. So stay tuned. If you have not signed up for our newsletter, which is where we reach out to you and let you know about such wonderful stuff coming up, you will be the first one to know through research alerts. But again, thank you for your participation. Thank you for your encouragement. And thank you for uh, uh, your, 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 your ideas, your shares. So look forward to hearing from you again. Thank you.